sales tax setup in the latest version of Lizzie is actually extremely simple. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to go to settings, general, and then tax rates. And then on this control, and I'm in the demo database, so there's a lot of, of junk in here, so it gets a little confusing looking. But um, let's go down here and see if we can delete. I'll delete Washington out, which we've got multiple states in here as well. So, so basically what happens to set up a new tax rate, you basically choose the state that you want to work in. So let's say that I'm going to go down here to Ohio. And then I will end up with a list of all of the selectable taxes in that particular state. Um, so I'm basically going to go in and choose the county that I'm in or the city or whatever taxes apply to my particular business. Uh, if I sell major units where I have to work with the DMV, then I may also need to add counties for other counties around me. Um, it's fairly simple to go in and add more counties in here you know, when, on the fly. So if you need to add one in for some county that you've never dealt with, um, you just come over here and add that county into the system. Uh, Lizzie knows what the tax rates and all that stuff are for them. Um, the only sp special part of it is if I once I add, uh, like I deleted Washington out of here. So if I come back down here and add County of Washington, I need to choose the account numbers that I want to use for to hold that tax uh, that tax amount that's due. Um, so it's the liability account that I'm going to use for that sales tax. So we'll just say, you know, sales tax payable state or whoever it is that you want to report as or that you want to list it on the books as. And you can put them all in the same one if you want. Um, then you want a report as, which is on the sales tax report when we print out the report and say here's you know out of state here's the county here's the city this tell allows you to be able to tell Lizzie how you want to group these things so you might have a county state and city but you, in your state you only report them all to the same agency as one tax and it's just a total amount of tax then you can do that you can tell Lizzie that that's how you want to break it down um, and then you have a tax vendor which is if you send the, the tax to accounts payable, for example, to pay the tax. So basically you run the tax report, you send the, due, the tax due to payables, and then you write the check out of payables, just, just as an example. This gives you the ability to choose who you want to actually create that purchase order for. Now, in some states, they actually have to ap apply major unit sales separate from part sales. Um, and in that case, you also have the ability to tell Lizzie that for major unit sales, you want to have them go to a different tax vendor um, to be able to pay those two. So that's kind of the, the, the flow for setting up the taxes. Once you get that, those things set up, you hit the save button, and then Lizzie will go in and add um, Washington or whatever it is that you added back to the system.